now we're going to get to the core and combine that with cardio. You're going to be up and down a lot on your mat. Um, I don't believe in splitting the class in half. Agility is key. And when you have to get up and down on your mat, that makes your joints and your muscles move. <laughs> Excuse me. Allergies in March. That makes your joints and your muscles move, which is what we all need in life. All right, so again, so we're gonna start on the mat. Your favorite and mine, mountain climbers. <laughs> I'm gonna move my weights. You do not need weights for this section. We'll be back to those in a minute. All right, so when the music starts, we're going right into some mountain climbers, but we're gonna find our plank first because that's where every mountain climber starts. Keep it here. I'm going to turn it outside. Mountain climbers, right? Two. 
series now. That means your forward motion. Remember your headlights. Your hips are headlights. If you turn out, the headlight goes that way. You don't want that. Keep it forward. Forward. And then we'll add some upper body to it. Let me get the music started. <laughs> Let the bass kick. Watch those hips. Down and up. Arms are keeping still but holding the weights up. Uh, two more. Two. Keep it there a little press. Press, 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 press. Arms are getting fatigued. Their shoulder height. Push. For eight. Seven. No more than hold still. Hold everything still. Let the bass kick. Let the bass kick. Push. Lots of looks out here at the big part. Since when do I care about that? Three more. Two. And one. Take it up and hold it this time. Hold. Straighten that back leg. Straighten it down. Straighten it up, I should say. Hold it to that core. Here we go. Let the bass kick. Up and back. So you're lifting up and back. Headlights forward. Let the bass kick. You can keep this pulse. Sued. Four, 
three, we're gonna hold the left foot forward. Two, hold the left foot forward. Hold. Go down up. Arms are still, just like before when they were out to the side. We're holding them still now. Go down and up. Go down and up. Good. Four more, then we hold everything. Four. side planks, okay? So, we're gonna start on our knees. Pick up your weights. Our first side's gonna be on our knees. We're gonna be rowing back like this. We'll get to the, pl the plank rows, but for now, I want it on the knees, so I wanna make sure everybody's on the same page. All right, let's get the music on. Go down, 
that weight. Go ahead and remove your weights. Take those hands right underneath your shoulders. Let's drop to our knees on this one. Take your heels, glue them to your butt muscle. Hold it there. Triceps ready. Fingertips forward. Take it down for two. Down two. And up. Down two. And up. two more just like that. One more time like that. Down. Take it halfway down. Hold it there. Make your forearms and your biceps right beside your ribs. Now pulse it. Pulse. Pulse. Get a little lower. Pulse. Pulse. For eight, seven, six, four, three, and one. Hold it. Push it up. Hips to your heels. Childhood. So if you know me well, you know I really don't have like a shy bone in my body. So I don't know if you're able to zoom in <laughs> on anybody behind us, but I'm getting some waves and some fun people. Obviously, more than six feet. I'd welcome any of them to do this with me. I just thought that was funny. Anyway, we're gonna do a cool down. I know everybody has their own version of a cool down. I'm gonna do one anyway. All right. Okay, so on this next one, we're going to be using your mat as more of a marker. We're going to be stepping our legs out wide, and you're going to march. So you want to do the whole distance of your mat. So up, but stay low. It's going to be for a count of four. And then you do the same thing. It's going to be an option. Instead of marching, hop, two, three, four, hop, back, two, three, four. And then we're doing your favorite and mine, burpees. All right, ready? So when we get on the back move, that's when we do the burpees. Okay, I'll cue you. Let's start in the back of the mat. Get low. Get on the right. We're going to walk forward four times to the end of the mat. Four, three, two, go back. Plyometric, land with a soft knee. If you're not doing any jumping at all, really feel your core extend. Two more. Now pick up your hand weights. We're gonna do that same thing with our hand weights.
get ready to hop. Cross, and we hold them still together. Four, left leg. Alright, so here we go with the cool down. We're taking a big deep breath up and let it go. Again, big deep breath up and let it go. This time, take those fingers, interlock them behind your back, kind of bend into your knees, and then just take that head and bend it down halfway all the way. And then let the arms fall. Alternate the bend in your knee. And one. Take that left knee, keep it bent. Reach it over your right hand and lift it up. Take it back down. Alternate the bend in your knee, right and left. Should feel good. Keep a bend in your right and reach over your left leg now. Lift it up. And take it back down. Take a big deep breath up. And this time you're going to fold in half. Take your palms to the ground. Take it back to your mat. Drop to your knees. Hips to your heels. Come on back to all fours. Shut up, chest up. And then reverse your hands. Palms flat. And then round up with a bad cat. Take that right arm up and feed it through your left, stretch out that shoulder. Take it right back up. Drop it down. Left arm. Drop it through. Take it back up. 
soles of your feet together. You can use your elbows to push it out on your legs and add a little hinge work.